Hey guys, John here with Pro Edge Paintball. Today I've got the Bunker King Supreme V2 elbow pads. I'm gonna do a quick little overview and review and tell you what I think about them and see if they're worth the 60 bucks. So at first glance, when I was looking at these online before they showed up to our store, I thought they're gonna be like really big, real bulky and like hard on the outside because when you look at it, the image online, it shows all this shine on there and I thought it was just gonna be like a, a big freaking football pad feeling type elbow pad. And just now when I tried them on, I was extremely surprised because I'm, I'm pretty picky my arm pads. I'm not a front guy, so I can't say, hey, I slide a lot, but I do slide a little bit. And I like to be able to move around, have breathability, and just have flexibility. Like the infamous arm pads, um, for those, they're like a very flat piece of foam. The exalt pads, the die pads, they're like a fixed design. Actually, I grabbed a pair here to kind of show you what I mean. So see, they're already like molded round. So they're, they're gonna hold their shape, which is nice. It's not a problem. It does naturally fit over your arm, you know, the shape of your arm. But when I put these on, this is the first pair of pads I've ever felt that genuinely, as you can tell, are extremely flexible. The most flexible elbow pad I've ever felt, and I've been playing 20 years. And so when I put it on, I was extremely happy with it. I've never felt, I've just never had this type of design before on my arm. Um, so I was surprised on the sizing. So I'm 240 pounds, 5'11", not a big guy by any means as far as my arms go. And uh, this is the size large. Let me double check that. Yeah, the size large, and it actually fit me pretty good. So it took me a little to put them on here, but I would say if you're a guy or you've got similar build as me, I should say, um, a size large, size XL probably would work if you're a little bit bigger, if you feel like you have bigger arms, but this is a size large and it fits pretty, pretty well. Um, it literally takes the form of my arm 100%. There's even a little bit of breathability in here, a little bit of flexibility, I should say. Um, but because it's not a fixed shape already, I love, I really love how it fits in my arm. It feels natural. I can move it around. The only thing that I can feel when I'm moving around is this arm pad or this strap back here. This is my only complaint, I would say, is where the stitching here is in the back. You kind of feel that. So if you had like, I've worn a long sleeve shirt before underneath this, or even your short sleeve shirt, if you have it and it goes underneath this, it might be nice to kind of cover up those threads a little bit uh, or the seams. But um, I imagine this is a brand new arm pad right out of the box. Once you've washed it a couple times and it's kind of broken, all that, all that stitching and everything will be a little softer. And this isn't like something super big complaint, but if I'm gonna be picky about it, I'm gonna let you know about it. Um, I do like how this strap is really small. Um, it's not one of the big ones that wraps all the way around. When you slide, when you move, the strap shouldn't catch anything at all. Uh, but yeah, I was really happy, pleasantly happy whenever I grabbed this arm pad. There's a little bit of extra room. You can see maybe like right here, we get that feedback occasionally from the customer saying, oh, it, feel, it feels a little baggy on me, but it really isn't that much. Um, it's got the silicone on the outside of it. So I've, I've read that some people say that it actually holds onto your jersey so your jersey doesn't move so much when you slide. So that's a pretty cool idea. It does have the same silicone on the on the inside here, so it's gonna help with your grip whenever you get paint stuff in your hands. So that's pretty cool. I like that idea a lot. Um, this material here is very, very thin, so it's gonna have a lot of ventilation, but it actually has legitimate ventilation here up top. Maybe you can see this. I know if I hold it up to the light, I can physically see through this part right here, this gray part, um, because it's just a mesh. It's a very breathable mesh. I can see kind of the color change of my fingers between it. That mesh goes there. The mesh goes between the arms there. And so you actually have a lot of air ventilation between those two spots alone. And again, like I was saying here, this is just your normal type. Um, I wanna say like your legging or, or your, uh, maybe your compression pants type material. That's kind of what it feels like, something like that. And that goes all the way across the bottom or basically on your forearm here. So uh, they are labeled left to right. Some people like that. Some people get a little confused where your hand, where your thumb hole is gonna go. Uh, but yeah, they make it really easy on that one. I can actually hear it sticking, uh, sticking to the table here. So I'm not sure how these would do uh, if you didn't wear a jersey. That's actually probably a pretty, pretty good question because they are kind of designed to grip on the ground and not be smooth. So this silicone might come off if you're sliding on turf. So I definitely would recommend not to wear these without a jersey because uh, it seems like this material is much nicer than a lot of your other arm pads. And I'm just using this one as an example because I had it close by, but this material is more smooth. It's not as grippy. So this is going to slide on turf a little bit better if it's directly to the turf where the silicone one might actually grip a little bit better. But yeah, for $60 at the time of making the video, uh, Bunker Kings has done a good job with these. Again, I was pleasantly surprised on how they felt on the flexibility of them. Uh, this is, I mean, you can, I don't know how many arm pads you can do that to. So it's very nice, very flexible, lightweight. I know of course you can't do too much heavy, but because it's not that real thick, heavy foam, that real dense foam, I should say. Uh, it seems like it's a little bit lighter on the arm pad. So yeah, pretty cool here. Again, straps here in the back. 
I do like this. There's not a lot of Velcro here, so over time, you probably could just cut this off. I did that on my Exalt arm pad to just cut the top part off of it, uh, so it gave a little bit more room for breathing on a bicep. You don't really need it up there, in my opinion, so. Uh, but yeah, cool though. These are available in medium, large, double X or large, I believe, medium, large, double X, maybe even triple X. I'd have to double check on that, but at least three sizes. Um, I didn't see a small on the Bunker King's website just to check the sizes. Uh, but yeah, these are available and in stock on our website, prohpb.com. If you have any questions or if you have any feedback, I love to hear from you guys whenever you comment below and say, oh, I tried those pads or I tried a different pad and I really like this or I hate this about this or dislike this about this. Uh, it really gives me an idea too when I'm making more videos to just cover more things that are important to you guys. So definitely comment below, give me a shout out, let me know what you think, give me your feedback. No matter how much you've played, how much you haven't played, whatnot. So, but cool deal. If you found the video helpful, please hit like. That helps our videos grow and show to other people. And of course, if you like weekly paintball videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.